Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a quick look at the markets, you can just see how volatile it was yesterday with the US 31 point breaking above 17.747 only to get pushed right back down into negative territory away, away from the session lows, but still a horrible technical signal to have, especially when you've had uh, kind of a, a negative candle here, an advancing negative candle and then yet another negative candle coming off such a a turnaround. So today the equity markets do, probably are going to look a little bit pressured from a technical perspective. We're trading below that 21 period SMA, approaching the 55 near 17,361. The other technicals are, however, relatively neutral. But there's not a huge amount of economic data out today, actually. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, looking on to moving on to the UK 100, uh, you can get an idea about where we are just now, and this is this is looking pretty pretty ugly too. Commodities are getting smashed at the moment. So you've got crude oil down below 37. So we're at 36.90 at the moment for West Texas crude. Um, gold is uh, it's not so bad. It's at 10.73. Copper is near multi-year lows. I think there's a there's a famous Reuters commodity index, um, which takes a basket of commodity products together, and it's at 13-year lows. So if you look at most miners in the UK. Uh, you've got Anglo-American, Rio Tinto, BHP Bellington, some, look, look something like Longman. You know, they're all nursing 50% plus losses. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the pressure that the poor old UK 100 is under. And uh, the way the US dollar is going right now and, you, and uh, raise a kind of a specter of increasing uh, interest rates um, is adding a lot of pressure to the UK index. So we're at 60.73 uh, as the potential support. We're currently at 60.95. Uh, and um, you know a break and close below that opens up a potential technical move towards 5770. Uh, it depends very much where you think commodities are going to go. Are they going to keep on dropping or are we going to get a sudden turnaround? That's going to be a big driver for the UK market. So then moving on to Japan 225, this is accelerating down lower again. We actually broke below 19,104. We've already had that retracement back up to, to try and uh, we challenge it and it's been pushed back down again. Uh, so the next potential support, if we get below that 55 period SMA, of course, 18,648. So dollar yen, dollar yen, the USD is not getting a lot of love and you can just see that move in the dollar yen last night. That is a very bad, massive candle. It's not as big as this one, mind you, but still, that is a very, very negative candle to have on dollar yen. So we've broken below 121 spot 87. The next potential support would be one spot, would be 120, spot 55, and we can see we're pretty much hugging that 55 period SMA right now. So uh, 121 spot 87 should now act as a potential resistance now that the support has been broken. So moving on to West Texas crude, uh, we're below 37.50. Next potential support, 35 spot 30. Again, ugly candle from yesterday. We had managed to rally up only to get pushed right back down again towards the end of the session. Then having a look at gold, <clears throat> similar picture, gold managed to rally in the back of that USD weakness, but getting pushed right back down again, hugging that 21 period SMA and potential support at 1,072. It's been in play for a number of sessions. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar is beginning to get some acceleration behind it as the USD is firmly taking the back seat. One spot 10, one spot 11 is the next potential Resistance, uh, we're above both moving averages. Other technicals show room for maneuver, and the MACD is just about across the zero line. Uh, and that's just as the latest Euro policy leader uh, has basically kind of poo pooed any, as, uh, any potential uh, hopes for more monetary easing, saying it's just not the time. Not the figures, the way that they are in the Eurozone, they want to hold back, uh, they don't want to use everything. So finishing up with GBP USD, so Sterling getting a decent run yesterday, bullish engulfing pattern, smashing through two layers of resist, potential resistance, one spot 50.27, one spot 51.10, uh, potentially capped at that 55 period SME. Longer term, we're still in the, in the middle of this downtrend. We're quite a good bit away from that trending support line. And you can see pretty much for the other technicals are, ju are just now, they're pretty neutral. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So. That's where we are for the most common products. Uh, in regards to economic data, uh, you can see there that we still have the Bank of England interest rate announcement today. That will be unchanged. That's at 12 UK time. You've got unemployment claims at 1.30 UK time. 
and that's pretty much it for today. Oh, excuse me again. And then if we fast forward on to Friday, you can see we've got German um, CPI. We've got US retail sales. Um, we finish up the day at three o'clock with the uh, Consumer Sentiment Survey, the University of Michigan Sentiment Index. So guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.